we are going to continue reading Sonia Sotomayor and remember that we are talking about traits and feelings. And remember that a trait tells us who somebody is and a feeling tells us the emotions that the character is having at that point in the story. So if you remember, we were reading about Sonia Sotomayor and she is from the Bronx in New York and she wants to become a judge and she ends up going to a school because she ends up graduating and she ends up going to a school in Princeton. I couldn't remember. And Princeton is not in the Bronx. It is in Princeton. So Princeton is not the Bronx and Sonia realizes that and she kind of feels out of place and she shares that during her first week she heard a cricket in her dorm room and it scared her. Growing up in the projects Sonia never had trees outside her window so she didn't even know that the cricket wasn't inside her house it was actually just outside her window. So the next page says in growing up in the projects Sonia never had the sorts of luxuries her classmates took for granted. Most of the Princeton kids had grown up taking tennis lessons and vacationing in Europe. They went skiing over Christmas break. Many of their parents and grandparents had gone to Princeton too. Suddenly, Sonia was aware of being poor, of being Latina, of feeling inferior. Where was the warm, comfy blanket of her family? Oh, how she missed them. In similar shoes, some people may have gone back home, but Sonia was a flowering vine that would not stop growing. She would not just survive this strange new world, she would thrive. She would spend her first summer break reading all of the books she'd never had time to read before to make herself even smarter. And remember that thrive just means to succeed or to do well. She would become the head of the club for the handful of Latino students at Princeton. She would push herself to her limits, studying day and night, night and day at the library and graduate with the highest honors of any student in her class. Success comes to those who make the most of chances they are offered in life. Sonia did become a judge, and a good judge too. She was known for working very hard and always being very prepared for every trial. She was also known for having no patience for lawyers who weren't prepared. You better not mess with Judge Sonia, yet she was known for much more than this. So thinking about what that said, it said that you better not mess with Judge Sonia. So I want you to get out your character trait and evidence form, and I want you to tell me, Sonia's going to be our character, and I want you to tell me what trait is she displaying when, she's, when people say, you better not mess with her. What are they saying the trait that she might have? And then I want you to tell me the evidence, you have to tell me why you think she has that trait. So what in the book is telling you that she has that trait? And then once you do that, you can pause this video until you're ready to do that because then once you do that, you wanna play the video and keep going because we're gonna fill out one more time. Unlike many judges, she had grown up in poverty. She had grown up as a New Orleans, a child of Puerto Rican parents. She had seen things most other judges had not. People she'd grown up with had gone to jail. People she'd grown up with were poor and many of them weren't as lucky as she had been. They'd had trouble learning to speak English, trouble finding jobs. Unlike many judges, she knew firsthand what prejudice was, what it was to be judged for your background. In the world of judges, this made Sonia very special. Ooh. Oh, but Sonia, the very special judge did not stop there. No, 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 no. You see, Sonia was offered the chance of a lifetime. She was invited to the White House by none other than President Barack Obama because President Barack Obama had decided to nominate Sonia to the best job a judge could possibly have, to be a Supreme Court Justice. Justice is a fancy word for a judge. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the nation. Supreme Court decisions helped shape the law of the land. This was huge. Gulp. There had never been a Latina... Latin American of the Supreme Court. How strange was this? There are so many people of Mexican, Puerto Rican, Domin Dominican, and Cuban descent adding color to the great garden that is America. 
Why shouldn't all these people have someone who understand their lives on the Supreme Court? She was one of the most respected judges in the country. She was the perfect choice. Beyond this was an honor, beyond anything Sonia, in all her beautiful flowering, had ever imagined. But at the announcement ceremony, Sonia spoke about her mother rather than herself. I have often said that I am all I am because of her, and I am only half the woman she is. And speaking straight to her mother in the audience, she said, I thank you for all that you have given me and continue to give me. Her mother cried and cried. This was her daughter. It wasn't over, though. There were some bumps on the path to the Supreme Court, a broken ankle, which didn't slow her down one bit. And angry people calling Sonia names like racist just because she was proud to be a Latina judge and not ashamed to say it. And days and days and tough questions from a panel of 19 senators, a row of white faces, most of them male, but this didn't stop her. Nothing could stop Sonia, the, dy the dynamo from the Bronx, from making history and the nation's first Latin American Supreme Court justice. E bendito, you never know what can happen, especially when you water a flower. The end. So I just want you to take a second, and on the next slide is going to be a discussion, and I want you to tell me two things. So on the discussion, I want you to tell me um, what are some traits that Sonia's mother had, and why did she have those traits? And then what are some traits that Sonia had, and why did she have those traits? So upload a video in the discussion and tell me the answer to some of those questions. And also on the seesaw assignment that is going to be next to this video, I want you to upload your completed sheet. So you should have three characters, three traits, three traits, and then evidence for all three of those traits in those characters. So upload that to seesaw.